this is the Bellinger. We're going to be really narrow in our feet. Um, as he gets going, he's going to start hip hinging, really loading his glutes and hammies. The key and the thought is the glutes and hammies stay really strong and try to hold me back, but the front foot is going to reach forward to pull me into a nice hitting position. But he's fighting the move, stretching the muscles. What's up guys, I'm back here at Inspiration Academy. We've got Kurt Wilson and we're gonna talk about how to stop lunging and sinking. Yeah, so this is Ryan Rushing. Ryan is a freshman here at Inspiration Academy. Um, big thing that we're gonna work on is just understanding the movement on how to properly hinge and load and not sink into our back leg and then get out of it. When we see players load anteriorly, that means they're loading their quads, they're really quad dominant. So as they load, this back knee kind of caves in and they get inside or push towards the plate. There's a thought process of keeping the weight like on the ball of my foot. Um, so in my back foot, if I have the weight on the ball, as I lift my front foot up, I may want to cave into the ball as opposed to being on my heel. So getting into the sense again. So what we'll see also uh, with that a lot of times is players that will push back into their back hip and try to stay back that way and usually because of that if i push back into my back hip then i have to push forward out of my back hip as well. so that's where that lunge comes from yes that's where it starts yeah so this is the bellinger we're going to be really narrow in our feet um, as he gets going he's going to start hip hinging really loading his glutes and hammies the key and the thought is the glutes and hammies stay really strong and try to hold me back but the front foot is going to reach forward to pull me into a nice hitting position but he's fighting the move, stretching the muscles. But the huge thing is understanding the two major muscles that we wanna load in our lower half is our hamstrings and our glutes and our rear leg only. So that's really what's gonna control it, hamstring and glutes. So when Ryan gets down, so just get down into your load. As Ryan gets down, the knee doesn't bend. And right now his hammies and glutes are really turned on and fired. So these are the big muscles. This is what we're able to control our rear leg with and also able to control our move forward with. If he's doing it properly, his butt will actually start to work away from the plate. So if you see his back butt cheek, it kind of pushes away from the plate. That shows that he's really loading uh, posteriorly, posteriorly into the hammies and glutes. If the butt pushes towards the plate, the back knee bends, back, bend the back knee. You see the butt, see you're doing it too good. <laughs> if you see the butt push towards the plate, that's how I know I'm getting really loaded in my quads and I'm really quad dominant and out on the ball of my foot. We call it hip hinge versus sinking into my hip. But what happens is as the hips rotate around, they have to come out of it and rotate too much out. So for when I'm talking to hip hinge, I try not to get as much into the hands and direction because our main focus is learning how to hinge properly. So what we don't want is hitters to get negative feedback based on the ball. Whereas all of a sudden they don't hit the ball properly because maybe they didn't use their hands properly. Maybe they, they rotated a little bit too much, but really their hip hinge was good. So we don't want any negative feedback to take away from what the move really is. So we really focus on just watching the hitters and making sure the hip hinge is proper rather than worry about the ball. <clears throat> so the step back is really kind of introducing a little bit of flow into it, allowing for him to stay back leg dominant right here. So he gets his weight into his back leg, but he doesn't shift the hip over the back foot. It really stays inside, he hinges. And then working on not the head, chest, and foot moving forward out of it, but the foot reaching forward and pulling the muscles forward, as opposed to him really just lunging forward with his whole body. So all these lower half issues create can create different issues. They come from different issues, but uh, it's it's massive. It's the it's the major foundation in the swing. So here at Inspiration. The first three weeks of our fall is really dedicated towards properly hip hinging. We don't talk about much else until they learn how to hip hinge properly. We don't really go on to anything else. Last common thing that we see with hitters that that's really uh, doesn't give them great ability to control is as they load, they want to rotate around. So 
just act like you're rotating your hips around. He wants to rotate around really far to try to say, oh, I'm gonna stay back. Without the rear hip hinging properly and the glute and hammy loading, we get really front-legged and off time. Now, for the younger players, especially Little League, we see it often because of the fact that they don't have to be as off time. They don't have to hit and be off time as often. So once they get to the big field, they get to high school like Ryan is in, then we start to see a lot of guys diving out over the front leg, being really off time because the change of speed is much more drastic. And what we want to feel, it, it sounds a little weird, but we want to feel the swing be one-legged. We want it to feel like it's dominated by the back leg, it's loaded into the rear glute and the ha rear hammy, and it's controlled by the back leg. So that's just him starting off in his regular stance. It's him getting some weight into his back leg so he can uh, control it. Um, but just letting him feel like he's just getting a little bit of weight into that back leg and, and add a little flow. All right, guys, so that was a couple of drills to help you if you're struggling with lunging, if you're struggling with sinking in your swing. So, Kurt, again, thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you so much for your help today and showing us what not to do and what to do. Yeah, man. Right. See you guys. Thanks.